good morning happy friday more excitingly like it's exciting that it's the weekend almost but more excitingly i'm finally allowed out tomorrow honestly i cannot wait um at the beginning i thought like this was fine but <laughs> now i've had enough i didn't video much yesterday i just had to do a lot of tidying and actually like, i was so productive yesterday evening but it was like really unfun tidying like i couldn't even really time lapse it i just had to get stuff done today we've got quite an exciting day i've got a little bit of tidying again to do today and just like i want to clean the house i want to like clean the bathrooms because i'm allowed out tomorrow i want to do as much as possible before beforehand so that i don't have to faff about with like cleaning a bathroom tomorrow or sunday i then might put up some stars on this wall um the only issue is that i don't I've put them up in the in the living room and I like them there, but I nailed I basically have like two doors on either side of my TV and I nailed a string to either door, but it that was into the wood. Whereas I don't have that option here, so I'm a bit unsure as to how I'm gonna put them up because obviously they're not gonna be permanent. I do have kind of an idea for something that might go in here permanently so that I can hang stuff off it, but I haven't decided and I know everyone else is going to think I'm crazy and I thought my dad to put it up for me and I know he's going to be like why do you want this here it looks so stupid but I don't know that's something we'll come to when I put that up if I put it up oh I received my first Christmas card today I was so excited and my Christmas tree arrived today but something else that arrived today was my a papier order and I wanted to show you because I'm not doing Christmas guides this year christmas gift guides but i really think that this was a great gift and i really recommend it if you're looking for an affordable gift i literally ordered one of these for like six of my family members i just think they're great i have a 15 pound voucher as i will also receive i think it's like 10 pounds but i still really think it's worth it and that's how i first started shopping on papier was because i used someone's um at the time it was 10 pound voucher let me quickly find these uh, I ordered these. So I ordered these. They are £11.99, which I just think is such a good deal. And I ordered the multi photo ones in A3. I do think the A4 ones are quite nice too. And maybe I would have preferred those, but I personally ordered the A3. I just think they're great because you can put lots of different photos in them. They're a little bit time consuming, I'm not going to lie. I think they're a really like personal gift um it's useful and they're really affordable like 12 pounds you do have to pay postage i think postage is like three pounds or four pounds but obviously if you're a using the 15 pound off voucher it's really really cheap you probably only have to pay like a pound or two and um if you order loads which is what i done i think i ordered six i mean like four pound extra postage isn't that crazy um and that was basically like most of my christmas shopping ticked off I won't lie left I, it took me hours to find the photos but it was quite enjoyable and i really tried to like find photos that the person who's receiving the calendar probably hasn't seen but i'll leave the link to the 15 pound off below and then it's the multi photo photo calendar but they do like really beautiful diaries i've ordered a diary for one of my friends too um they just have stunning stuff i really like papier um and i'm telling you this but i also told my friends this and like i was literally just having a whatsapp chat with my friends about these because if you don't know what to buy you know you have like family members that you want to buy something for but you don't really want to spend like loads of money i think these are really good they just need a little bit of time investment which i think is okay okay so this just arrived it's funny because I left a little note on this saying that I had um, that I was isolating and if the person could leave it on my door and I feel like he was very like um careful like he'd clearly seen it but he was sweet um but apparently this is a six foot tree also this trip this was very very kindly sent to me by KGA so if you are watching KGA thank you so much um but I'm interested to see how this is going to turn into a six foot tree but I have no doubt obviously um but i'm probably gonna do this a bit later but inevitably i, ha I have to open it now because i want to see what it looks like and also that stuff in the corner that's all christmas stuff christmas tree stuff i bought this beautiful star for the top and i want it to sit here I'm trying not to do too much before Mike gets here, but I feel like I'm gonna work out how to get this to stand there. I'm gonna use this screw and I'm gonna try and basically attach it to here just so it can offer some support. So what I've done is I folded this over three times, the top part, and I've put a little screw in it and it's gonna to have to do. I think that's the straightest star ever, but it's not the worst. And I feel that if I want to use this, I'm just gonna have to be happy enough with that. So now, 
sorry i'm sorting this out i'm going to go through and work out which baubles going where because i am hopefully going to buy another christmas tree a real one on sunday i need to just work out what um what's going where my kind of thinking is that the more tacky stuff is going to go in my room and there's a lot of baubles with just my name on them and if they've just got my name or is there anything like blogging related they're going to go in that room because that's my office so it makes more sense um but i thought i'd show you a few that i really like here's just a sabrina one it's pretty but it's going in my room because then i do have a matching sabrina and michael ones these were kindly sent to me last year by elizabeth arden i just think they're beautiful i'm very very happy with these and these will go in the kitchen and um, i ordered these off ebay they're second hand because we had these at home on my christmas tree they're like really cheap and really tacky this is probably from the 80s or 90s to be honest but the one at my mum's house is really really battered and i've always really liked it so i ordered some for my house this one has shoes but i ordered three more that don't have shoes i mean they're vintage so obviously they're really hard to find in like perfect condition but i'm happy enough with them and this one is the best one so this one's going to go in the kitchen on the lighter tree this is a little work one. Oh, i really like this one i think actually what i'm going to need is more like tacky ones for my um office this one is a emma bridgewater one and it says ho 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 so these were just ones that were at my mum's and they'd gone on her tree or some of them had never been on her tree because they were just waiting for me to get a house for them to go onto my tree oh my god this is cute this is a little um avocado i might actually put it in the middle because ha i'd be happy for this one to go on either so it kind of depends on which one has more baubles but i'm definitely going to need to buy some more we've got another one that says my name on it i mean i might end up with a tree that has 20 baubles with my name i then have this one with an s these are from m s and these i absolutely love i paid i think about seven pounds for these in the end but i just think they're beautiful and i think all of these will probably go in the kitchen one they are all glass i hope they don't fall because our kitchen is tiled so if they do fall that's probably the end of them but they're just stunning oh i've already broken one that's great yeah these are just beautiful seriously i think with the lights these will be stunning so these will all be going in the um kitchen then we have this one i'll show you one side but on the other side i got our road name put on it so this side says tis the season and the other side says our the name of our road on it because i bought it this year as a like i didn't buy it actually i was given it by hobbycraft as a little remembrance that we bought our house this year i then have a banana bread which will be going on my office tree and actually the banana bread for anyone curious is i'm pretty sure it's paper chase um and then when we got engaged the next day we went to windsor castle so we bought this one from windsor um it's just stunning i don't think it was it was 15 pounds so quite expensive but i think one will have forever and then i kind of bought these little ones from tiger again i don't really mind where these ones go they're really they're nothing special i wanted the more like tacky ones from tiger but i couldn't find them but i think these will be nice in the light this is an m for michael because i felt that like we had a lot of baubles that had my name on them so we got an m for michael i think i have a rough idea as to how many baubles i have but i really do think i'm going to need a lot more this one my friend bought me from poland this is beautiful this is giant though it's like a next level bauble oh it hasn't got strings so i need to string it but this is glass and it is beautiful it's huge as well um so it's gonna be one that's kind of lower down on the tree but oh actually i don't know maybe it's gonna be one that we really tuck into the tree so that no one knocks into it um, and then i do have this box of um baubles i'm going to divide these up between the two trees i think but oh my phone's ringing okay actually i do have i kind of found a few more i am going to divide these up but just not this minute and then in here we have quite a few um this is one this is from kills in 2000 back in 2015 it's got a photo of me on it it's kind of broken but i think i'm going to put it up regardless or i could take it out and take the picture out i'm not sure i'm going to start putting the ones that need to go in my office in here i really hope they don't break there's this one that was from joe malone and it just says sabrina and it's got a little joe malone ribbon on it this one's quite heavy but it's a good one because i don't really this is slightly bigger than the other ones i have and i definitely need some bigger ones oh i love these these are my two nutcrackers 
I'm unsure if I'm going to divide them up one in each but actually I think they'll probably both go in the kitchen because I just love them I really really do I've got this one which is like a little silver one that says Merry Christmas from Boots X but it's just a, a nice kind of reflective one which I really like I've got lots of these Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse themed ones which will probably go in the office I have one disco ball I really want some more disco balls though for now they will go on the office tree this was actually on a um, reef i made once and then i just took it off and i just think they're beautiful and i like how they catch the light i really like these donuts but they probably will go on the office tree oh i'm a bit worried that the lip the kitchen tree is going to be too serious a little um guard maybe he'll go in the kitchen um this is again this is joe malone no this is molten brown actually and it's got a little ball which you can like put a scent on and then it like sends up the room however i don't have a liquid to put on there so i just use the bauble as a bauble but i do have a couple that i picked up from poundland and honestly if you look at them close up they are horrible they're not the greatest quality but like this one is essentially styrofoam but i think from afar they might look quite nice and um, i have got the receipt in case i want to return these these are cute they're like nothing special but they were maybe like a pound or one pound fifty i think this is polystyrene but Again, they look nice enough. I probably won't have these for like a really long time, but at the moment we need to buy a lot of baubles quickly and um, Poundlands were affordable. This one is beautiful and I'm actually gonna see if I can get some more of these. From afar, I think they are quite nice. Maybe in the kitchen. This is a red bird. And then they also had these, which again, I might pick up some more, but I basically asked my cousin to get these so I hadn't seen them. Um, and she just like left them outside my door a few days ago. There's this one, which again, I think once the lights are on the tree will be really nice because it will reflect everything. Um, probably on the kitchen one, I've got this one, which is just a gold mirror. It's a little bit on the heavy side. And actually I may not buy another one of these just because it is a bit heavy. I think I would prefer this. Again, it looks cheap from clothes, but from afar, you cannot tell. Finally, these wings, which a bit of a weird one to be honest, but they're nice enough. So yeah, that's all my baubles for now. I quickly like i know um poundland have cheap baubles like for example this one was one pound but i got all of these which is 45 from mns for five pounds so in the grand scheme of things these aren't the cheapest but i think you kind of need to mix things up and i really do especially on my kitchen tree have a mix of like really expensive not really expensive but i mean like i have 15 pound baubles mixed with these which probably average out at like not very much a bit of time has passed it's 3 20 i had and i feel like this meal sums up this week's just this week i had pot no not pot noodles i had instant noodles i haven't had them this week but i swear to god like every single lunchtime I, i've been like should i have should i just have instant noodles should i just have instant noodles there's just nothing in my house unless i want to cook like a big meal um there is actually soup oh and actually i might have to eat that soup soon but for some reason i just i've just not been in the mood for the soup it's because i haven't got any bread to go with the soup um i just really need to go to the supermarket tomorrow like i said tomorrow's freedom day and i'm just very very excited for that i'm in a really funny mood um i don't know i feel like i need lots of stuff for this tree and i can't go and buy it and i'm just a bit frustrated at the situation and it's fine like i literally just have what like another six and a half hours till i'm allowed to leave my house no that's not true eight and a half obviously i'm only gonna leave tomorrow morning i also have 500 lights i think they're too many i think i need 400 lights for this tree because again it is quite sparse and i can't go out <laughs> very excited about my advent calendar honestly i feel like at three o'clock when i need to pick me up these advent calendars are great i'm gonna have this now and then probably in like half an hour i'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and have my reese's pieces one today's flavor is toffee apple and cinnamon which i'm going to enjoy at my desk i also i've just been so unproductive as well like in in terms of like house stuff and um, work stuff i've just basically done nothing but that's because i was faffing around with the tree which i was supposed to just leave for, for this evening but i basically couldn't help myself i have a cheap suspicion that by the time mike gets home i'm gonna have completely put the christmas tree I had to remove all the lights again. Take two. Because they were tangled. <laughs> I'm laughing because otherwise I shall cry. Oh, take two. I also cannot do it with this. Are you steady? No, no. 
I need the normal ones. didn't um time lapse the whole thing because honestly this this took me hours <laughs> like oh uh, i don't know why hopefully i get quicker at this because it was just crazy i also feel that maybe i put them too far in and not enough out because like the outside of the tree looks really not lit up but i'm gonna try and like move some things around to see if i can kind of adjust that once the baubles are on but yeah i'm now waiting for mike and like i said earlier we are gonna get a nando's and decorate the tree so mike is home hello and um he i don't think you want to do the christmas tree i'm tired that's all um but this lighting is horrible i never use this light but we're gonna do the christmas tree he said oh it's our first one i'll, I'll help i'll help quite happy with it i am gonna buy some more decorations tomorrow though and then i'm gonna like tidy stuff up it's just stuff that needs to be moved look how cute i need i also want some like for around the back because we don't really have any decorations on the back but i want to be able to open the curtains and be able to have decorations on there i think i might need like one more big box and then a mixture of other ones and the star even looks relatively straight i think that's all right it's finally arrived Mike got a sunset burger, I got a great imitator. Took ages, but it's finally here. Oh my God, imagine there's something missing. I'm so hungry. So I was saying to Mike that it kind of tastes, the, McDonald's, the Nando's chips today tasted like school chips. They kind of like a bit soggy, but I really like that. And I also got myself a salted brownie, a salted caramel brownie. Don't tell me you're gonna save it. Oh my <laughs> God. Mike must eat everything instantly. He gets so bad at me for saving stuff. It's irrational. You're irrational. It's completely normal. I'm not hungry right now. The thing is, sometimes in 20 minutes, things, half an hour, no, it's never things, happened. And then it's just not true. It just doesn't get eaten. It's just not true. Not it. true. Stupid. Simply not true. 